Have I ever made ham and bean soup before in my life? No, I haven't. Yes, my eyes are now watering. Does this make you guys jump too? I'm done now. Hi everybody, welcome back. Cooking with Michelle. Today is cooking with Michelle. What am I doing? I thought I saw a spot on my camera lens. I'm done now. Welcome back everybody. Today is cooking with Michelle. What are we cooking, you asked? I knew you wanted to know. I am making ham and bean soup in my Instapot. I've got my navy beans. And I've got some of these lima beans, large beans, because I like big beans and I thought these were butter beans. I don't know. I just like big beans, so I'm going to put those in there. We'll just go with it. I've got leftover ham here from Easter that's been in the freezer. I thawed that. I've got an onion and I've got some other stuff to go in the soup. Have I ever made ham and bean soup before in my life? No, I haven't. So I thought, Let's film a video in the Instapot with the ham and bean soup. Never done any of that before. So let's let's show the world if I can do it. I don't know, but let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna cut up this onion and I'm gonna move the camera down, down, so you can watch me cut the onion. All right, so I've got my onion here. I cut it in half to see if it was okay because it was growing something out the end of it so it's okay though I, I it's okay we'll just chunk this part and I learned a really cool trick when you're cutting an onion when I do this cut an onion and and have my contacts in my eyes never ever water they don't something about the contacts and the eyeballs and the eyes not watering is pretty cool do I have my contacts in now no, I don't. So we'll see if my eyes water. I need an onion chopper. I need to invest in one in one of those choppers, you know, that you put it in and you just turn it and it and it zip zip. I need one of those. I wonder if this is too many onions. Nah. In my opinion, you can't have too many onions. I don't know if you hear noise behind me. I right, that's good enough. Good enough. But my washing machine is running and it's right behind you. I did turn the dryer off because I had jeans in there and you know they were kerplunking and a sweatshirt and you know what that sounds like all of you all right let's go put these in the instapot yes my eyes are now watering but let's go put them in the instapot all right we're on my the other side of my kitchen and we're going to put the onions in this instapot and I forgot the onions so hold on I'll be right back I, I got the I got I got the onions now so in this instapot I'm going to put these onions and I think that maybe I should put a little oil in the bottom of this pan. I'm thinking maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll use some olive oil. I hear it's better for you. I don't know. But we'll just, we, I don't want a lot. That should be enough, I think. All right, so Instapot on. Let's see. Plug in Instapot. Please, I hope this cord reaches. Good, the cord reached. I've got my dehydrator going over here with my bananas in it. They're almost done. But I turned the dehydrator off too because I'm going to plug the Instapot in with it. And I didn't know about the water. I don't know about that stuff. And I didn't want to have like the power trip. I, I don't know even if it would, but I didn't. <sighs> you, you just know. So let's turn this thing on. Um, we're going to do saute. Why isn't it going on? Okay, just a minute. Let me figure this out. I know why it's not turning on. You have to have the plug in the back. Hold on. Let's plug this in. All right. Just listen. If you're there, if you run into that problem, check the plug. Lesson learned from me. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Okay, we're going to do saute. And I'm sure we don't need 30 minutes. But it's not really going to matter. Because I'm going to be here with it. So it's not going to matter. So we'll let this to start sautéing in here. Probably I have to stir it just a little bit. And I don't know why it's beeping. Have I read the manual yet? No, I haven't. Have I watched videos on this? I've done that. I, I, I've done that. So we're going to saute the onions. 
and hope they saute. All right, now we are back on the other side of my kitchen and we are going to cut the carrots in ham. If you notice right there, I'm homeschooling the children, my brother's children. Actually, my sister and my brother's children. I'm a teacher. I'm a cook and a teacher. Aren't you lucky? So we're going to cut these carrots and put them in this bowl. We'll move you down so you can see the carrots. Because who doesn't want to watch somebody cut carrots? I actually like my carrots bigger. That'll be It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to like chunk them. I like cooked carrots. And if I'm going to eat a carrot, I want to know that I'm eating the carrot. Plus it's a lot. I wonder if I could do that. Probably not. Probably cut my finger off behind me the instapot is working in case you were wondering i can hear the sizzle we'll go check on it in a minute don't you hate when you cut carrots and they just want to fly like torpedoes that's what's happening here to me i really need a chopper you don't have to be perfect all right let's go check on the onions all right, well, we got a saute going here. I think that's probably good. And it, it, the pot is off now. No, it says on. Um, I think this is good. So I'm going to unplug this now and let that sit there and come back over to my carrots. I've got quite a bit in here. I don't think I want to use all of the carrots because that's good enough. I might need these for something else, so we'll save those. Now I've got the ham to cut up. And I'm just going to use it all. All of it. Well, yeah. We're going to cut this ham up. And I'm just going to put it in the same bowl with I put the carrots because it's all going to go the same place. I'm not putting that in. That's fine. So, all right. So, I lied. Not everything is going in. Most everything is going in. Most everything. I hope this is good. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Oh, this, I just don't. Okay. Let's just get... What? Let's, there we go. Maybe. I don't know. I had more ham in the freezer, but I used it for um, scalloped potatoes and ham. This is just my leftover bone thing that I'm done with. I'm not going to pick at that. Nope, Michelle's not doing that. And here's some more. And that's fat. Okay. So I've got some ham cut up and the bone in here. So now let's move back to the Instapot. Now what I'm going to do next is just dump everything in this pot. Yeah, I'm going to dump everything in this pot. That's what I'm going to do. So in goes this first. We'll put the ham in... in uh, Ham bone in the, whoa, ham bone and the carrots in first. Okay, so those are in there. We've got those in there. And then next we're gonna put some beans in there. Alright, now I have navy beans and I didn't ouch. Ow, that hurt. I hit my elbow. Jeez. Alright, well this video is going to pot quick, isn't it? Uh -huh, that's a joke. Instapot, get it. I did not pre-soak these beans. Did not do that. And we're going to put them in here, not pre-soaked. So I'm going to make sure they go all the way around. I got the beans all the way around. Now, these bigger beans, I might not use these. Large limas. No, because I think these are the ones that turn green. Did these turn green? I don't know. I wanted butter beans, and this is not a butter bean, so I'm not going to put these in here because I don't want to. So I'm going to then put in, I have chicken broth. I'm going to put chicken broth in here. I don't know why you would put chicken broth in a ham based soup, but we're doing it. And we're going to cover up all these beans with the chicken broth. Okay, there's one. One 
box of chicken broth made it that full. I am going to add some more. I just want more in here to cover it, the ham bone. Plus, you know, as the beans get bigger, it's going to take up juice. So I might just add this whole box. Yeah, I'm going to just add the whole box because that's what I'm going to do. There, the whole box. I have two boxes in there. And it just covers the ham bone. I, this will be, this should be nice. Now, here, let me, let me show you. I'm able to stir it. And I'm even wondering if I need to add a little more water. I don't think so. I'm going to just go with it like this. Because I don't like a soupy soup, if that makes any sense. I like a soup that's a little more chunky and I'm not a soupy soup kind of girl. Now, the best bean soup I ever had had a, like a kick to it. It wasn't just plain bean and ham soup. It was a little spicy. So I have this fiery peppers. Fiery five pepper. I'm going to put this in here and, and just to see what it would taste like. Just to see if it'll give it that kick. I don't know if it will, and I don't really even know how much I'm going to use here. Maybe. I'll call that a teaspoon. We're going to call that a teaspoon. Teaspoon of that, and stir it around. And that's all I'm going to add to this. I don't have any celery or celery seed, or I probably would have put some of that in here. But for now, that's that's all I'm adding. I imagine that once it's done, you can season it a little more or add more liquid if you had to, which we might have to. I don't know. I'm going to put the lid on this, plug it back in. Let's turn it off. Lid backwards. Okay, lid. It made the noise, it sang the song. We're gonna make sure this is on, not venting, on the other one. Seal, seal, okay. It's on seal, and I'm gonna do it for 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, 30 minutes on normal, and just let it go and see what it does. Like I said, this is new to me. We're learning together, if you're still here. There, it's on. And I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it just sit there and vent itself because we're not going to eat this for quite a while. It is 10 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm not, my back is hurting and I might be laying down when my husband gets home. So the plan is if I just make it now and get it ready, I can put it in the refrigerator and then we can get it out and eat it later. But I'm going to just let it sit here and do all the vent, do it, do whatever it needs to do. When it's done, I'll come back. Well, back to the soup. 36 minutes ago, see that? 36 minutes ago, I don't know if you could see that or not. It beeped and I've just been letting it sit here and I haven't moved this to venting yet. So I'm gonna pop this over to venting to see if it has any venting to do. Let's, oh, maybe a little. Oh, that always scares me. Does this make you guys jump too? Now, I have this venting like out from my cupboard because I don't want like steam to go up in my new cupboards and get them ruined but I I obviously didn't have it out far enough because water squirted all over them so we're gonna let this vent for it doesn't okay it's doing we'll let that finish venting and I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe the water off my cupboards it's done venting. I didn't even get my cupboards wiped off and it was done venting. So it smells really good. I'm hoping it looks good in this pot because if it doesn't, you're not going to see it. Trust me. This video won't go up. It smells good. All right, let's open it. It made the noise. It's beeping and it says lid. So I'm going to take the lid. Off. Oh, it looks good in there. I peeked. Okay, there you go. Without me stirring it. Now, I'm glad I added that extra bit of water. Or chicken broth, I mean. Look at that. Oh, my. Does that... It smells good, too. It smells really good. All right, now I have to get a bowl and try it. Right. I have tried this. It is, it is very, 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 very good. The only thing is it needed more salt. And remember in the beginning of the video, I said we could season it more at the end. So in here, I probably put 
half a teaspoon of salt, and then I have some cracked pepper. I like to use cracked pepper. And then I added probably another half a teaspoon of this just to give it another kick. We will stir this up, and I imagine that will do it. I'm gonna let it sit here. I'm gonna put the lid back on this and just leave it sit here for a little bit to see if it will soak up the flavors. Now, remember, I put the I put dried beans in there, and these beans are perfect. No soaking, the carrots are tender, and everything is done. That took all of 30 minutes. I set it for 30 minutes to cook, and then it, I let it sit here for another 30 minutes. It took an hour, hour in the Instapot. I imagine if you wanted to, you could release the seal, release the steam by yourself if you wanted to. We're not in a hurry to eat this, so I thought we're just gonna let it sit here and marinate in the goodness of the ham a little longer. In my book, this is a win. This is a win. Win, winner, winner. This is really good. Cooking with Michelle. Ham and bean soup with a little fiery flair. If you like my video, subscribe. Come back for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.